Happy Labor Day weekend. Woo! Woohoo! Yeah, we're out in southern Kansas near Wichita. We are here because there were camping reservation <laughs> spots left, to be quite honest. But only about 10 15 minutes from here is the Cosmosphere, which is a really cool space exploration place. You can lie on your back and watch a screen above you, so it feels as if you're looking up at the stars. Cool thing is they also do movies. Mm -hmm. um, next week would have been a great week. We're always like a week early for stuff <laughs> right? or a couple days early. <laughs> they were going to have the movie Transylvania, which is yeah. one of our children's favorite. But this week is Ant-Man. <laughs> It's PG-13, like we can't even go to it like if it was a not great movie, but it's PG-13, we can't go to it at all. Yeah, so. anyways, Paul Rudd, he's from Kansas, so yes. that's probably why they're doing Go Jayhawks. That. We are trying to get the troops rallied up and ready to go. They have disappeared to Grand Grand Papa's camper, so hopefully they're ready. <laughs> There are several shows to see, so make sure when you're planning your visit you look at your show times to see what time the shows are. Because some of them are only played like once or twice a day, so you want to make sure that you get those times. Others, there's like three or four showings, especially on Saturdays. But just be sure that you plan out your time. So we're getting ready to head to the planetarium show, which should be pretty cool. But I'm sure it's going to take us a while to walk through here, so we should probably get started. So I better go find Steve. <laughs> I weigh 5,000 pounds on the sun, but 61 on Mars, where Elon Musk is going. 27 pounds on the moon. So Steve's moving to the moon. We're in space. It looks like we're in the moon. It does look like we're in the moon. Yeah, it's so dark. We're gonna be launched into space. How was that? It was awesome. We just got done with the planetarium. The Night Sky Live was the name of this show, and it was really interesting. They showed you where the different constellations are throughout the year, and they would tell you how many light years away things were. And some of the things we're seeing in the sky are 3,000 light years away, which means the light that we're seeing, like we see in the sky tonight, is 3,000 years old. Like it took 3,000 years to get to us. It just blows your mind. Yeah. Very crazy to think about, that's for sure. Yeah. We lost, we lost one in the show though. So I may yeah. have fell asleep. <laughs> it's just, it's really. Like this night skies over you, it's dark, it's quiet, it's so, but yeah. it was very cool. Definitely worth it. Yes. So now we're gonna go explore for about an hour and then there's another show thingy to catch. So, All right. let's go play. Let's warp you to the next show. 3,000 light years later. When I hold this balloon in my hand, the air that is trapped inside this balloon is a little higher pressure than what the air outside of the balloon is. Kept. That is a force against all sides of the balloon equally, this pressure. Now when I let the balloon go, I actually alleviate the pressure on this end of the balloon, but there will still be pressure exerted against this end of the balloon. That will be my action force. The reaction force goes in the opposite direction, forcing the gases out of the back of the balloon. 
the action force propels the balloon forward through the air and around in, hold on a moment here, and around in a nice circular path. Well, maybe a nice circular path. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think the cotton balls had a long enough cold oxygen bath. So, we just got done with uh, watching a demonstration on Dr. Robert Goddard. They called I him the grandfather of uh, the rockets. Rockets, something like that. I <laughs> no, don't know. not the grandfather, anyways. No. Uh, he basically. Here he is. Where is he? <laughs> there, there. There's Dr. Goddard. Yeah. They do a lot of like actual chemistry science experiments right there, and so blow stuff up, set stuff on fire. <laughs> Oh, oh man, oh man. Yes, the, they. The screen's not working over there. Yeah. You get to see a rocket? No. Yeah, did you like it? No. <laughs> we came, when we got done, he got, that was cool, Mom. Yeah. So they just kind of went through the process of, you know, what he did. It just took you through the process of how he figured out how to make a rocket, essentially. So, um,. Just step by step, and it took you all through the little steps of how we figured it out. So it was cool to see how they discovered that process. So. Yeah, plus they blew stuff up. Yeah, and the gentleman that did our show, I don't know if it's always the same guy, but he was good. He's, He's awesome. Um, he was very entertaining to watch in the process yeah. as well. Getting so. his master's at Wichita State. Yes, so I don't know if Lobby's the same guy. All right, let's zoom like a rocket and find Grand Grandpa. Papa! By the switch in there it says AUX to stand by. A U X to stand by. And look it up. That, uh -huh. That's very significant on Apollo 12. Give me a hint. It has to do with light. Oh. Oh. A very scary moment in Apollo 12. Are you excited? What are we what are we doing, Ollie? The Cosmosphere was a success. We officially spent five, six hours in there. Yeah, with the shows and stuff that you can do, it can take a long time because they all take about an hour by the time you, you know, go get in the room, sit down, watch the show, get done. So then you kind of explore in between. The museum part was probably not as kid friendly as no. I would have hoped. It was a lot of reading and that sort of stuff rather than interactive yeah. things. Still really cool if you wanted a lot of information. Yes. Talked about how Nazi Germany pushed forward a lot of the technology. I mean, still plenty for the kids to do especially with the shows and stuff. And I would definitely do the uh, Dr. Goddard Robert show. Goddard. Yes. That was really good. Hopefully the gentleman that was there, or at least any other gentleman, does as good a job as him, because he was awesome. So. Yeah, yeah. The Dome Theater was pretty cool, too. It's a 4K 
projector on a dome. It doesn't fill the whole dome, but it's still, I mean, it's a huge screen, so it's still pretty cool. And then the planetarium is a planetarium, and it's neat if you get a chance to go. In the dome, we watched Space Next, which was yes. kind of cool. It just talked about the future of where they see it going, and uh, it's right pretty accurate, so. Yes. It's worth the, however long that was, I don't even Yeah, know, like so. 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, so. But we're gonna go back to camp, get some dinner, and we'll see where tomorrow takes us. See ya. Welcome to Cowtown in Wichita. Yeehaw! <laughs> this looks like it'll be pretty fun. Uh, there's like period people walking around. We've already seen a few cowboys. There's gonna be a gunfight at three o'clock. Yeah. And the best part about it is we happen to come on a Sunday and admission is free this year on Sundays, which is not normal. So check the website to see if you can get a free admission. Yeah. A family donated a bunch of money, so on Sundays, admission is free, so it's super nice. Yeah. So the kids are in watching, like, the welcome video with Grand Grand and Papa. So we're going to go catch the tail end of that and then go explore check it Cowtown. Out. Hopefully we don't get, like, in the middle of any gunfights. There's some ladies walking around with their parasols. is from 1876. Everything is original except for the belt and the blade. And I do still use this saw about every day. Yes, I Can happen if this kind of is in the truck. By the way, the 
Everybody say hi to Miss Beebe, would you please? Hi, Miss Beebe. Hi. <laughs> she likes that. Here's what can happen if you don't use this gun properly. Fire in the hole! Woo! Huh? You! Why? You want to run away from me? We need to talk to you. You know, you no good Texas cattleman. You drove your herds right through my place, tore it all to pieces. You know me for the damages in my property. You no good, you no good Texas. I'm gonna blow you all the kingdom come. I ain't putting up there. You don't pay me. You ain't going to the well, What are you doing, Curly? You're gonna get people hurt. There it is, boss. Him. Hey, he ain't even on. You need to leave him alone. What have you gotten yourself into this time? And you guys, you put them guns away. In fact, we've got an ordinance in this town requiring you to turn in them shooting islands when you come to town. Now, maybe six men to jail for a spell might jog your memory next time. Now, listen, for the last time, Put down them shoot irons, or you're going to be paying the piper. Ain't going to happen, all man. All right. Town done. <laughs> We've been to a lot of um, Western history museums this season, and this was hands down the best one. Very much so. They did a lot of reenacting and uh, or acting, I guess. Yeah. Just uh, different things that would have happened back in the day, and the sheriff kicked some some low lifes out of the saloon right in front of us. Yeah, kicked a bunch of people out of the town, and then got paid off by another family, so he let him back in the town. And... Then there was a gunfight. Ooh, the gunfight. Yes. So, very well done, and it seems like they do even more. Like, they have a cattle drive, it looks like. I mean, there's, it looks like they have plenty of stuff that happens here. You can even rent it out for events, if you yeah. would like, which is what's behind us, is the banquet hall. Yeah. So, but the rain seems to be following us around. So I would have liked to have gotten better footage of it for you, but it was raining most of the time. So they, they even like moved the gunfight up a half an hour so that they could get it in before the storms hit. So we just kind of ran from store to store, which most of the stores are air conditioned as well, which I don't think at any of the other ones, like the buildings have been air conditioned. No. So that was nice to be able to stay cool for the like five minutes it was sunny and hot and not rainy. <laughs> so, but Cowtown in Wichita is, it's good, it's good. It's definitely been the best one that we've gone to. Yeah, so. definitely worth it. Yes, and the cow, like the people that are dressed up, they're really friendly and they'll let you take pictures with them and all that good stuff, so. Mm -hmm. so. They play the part well. They do, although Maddie refused to take a picture with the cowboys because she wanted, she was waiting for the cowgirl. Oh. <laughs> so, there's our Maddie. <laughs> Yep. On to the next adventure. Who knows what that is? I don't. I don't. Well, it was another successful camping trip. Another one in the bag. Yes. We, uh, believe it or not, even in Hutchinson, Kansas, with 
two full days. I mean, we, there's still more stuff. Uh, between Wichita and Hutchinson, I shouldn't say just in Hutchinson, but there is still more stuff that we could have gone to do. So I have a feeling we'll come back sometime and do those things. There's salt mines, there's a like discovery place. I can't remember the name of it, but it looked pretty cool. There's an Indian museum. So there's plenty more to do. We would have went to the salt mines, but Oliver wasn't old enough. So yes. that's got to be four. Something. That's definitely something we would do. Yeah. It's supposed to be pretty cool. So. This campground is the um, Sand Hill State Park campground and it's fairly new. Like I think it was built like 2015 so it's clean and nice and seems like it's well taken care of. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Punch that subscribe button. And click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. Ring-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling -a -ling. <laughs> we'll see you on the trail.